All right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. Now, for all my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back and tuning in for another video. And if it's your first time here, do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Yeezy 700 in the wash orange colorway. Let's get started with the box. So as you expected, typical Yeezy box, got your cardboard box there with 700 on the top, boost on the side because the 700 does feature boost. And on this side, you've got your size tag information. And I picked this up in a US men's size nine and a half and we'll get to the sizing a little bit later. All right, that's about it. This doesn't come with any extra laces or anything like that. So I just want to call that out. All right, and here we have it. The Yeezy 700 in the wash orange colorway. Now, I gotta be honest, this is a shoe that I was pretty much gonna pass on. Um, I had no intentions of picking this up when they dropped, um, it was last week sometime. Um, I, like I said, had no intention of picking it up and I didn't even try on Yeezy, Yeezy Supply. I literally just put in a, um, you know, an entry for the Adidas Confirmed app raffle and I hit. So that's how it goes. So um, yeah, I wasn't super excited about it, but I, I like the shoe, but just wanted to you know, let you guys know how I picked these up. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So when I first saw this shoe, I was kind of like, wait a minute. This reminds me of the Wave Runner, but with just an orange sole. And um, I just wanted to show you really quick because it literally, I thought it was the same thing. Um, Cause you got the gray, you got the hits of green and blue there on the toe. But if you take a look really quick at the OG Wave Runner, you notice that the gray on the Wave Runner is lighter. So on the left, you got wash orange, obviously, and the Wave Runner on your right, or probably on your left and then my right. Um, yeah, look there, you could tell that the gray on the wash orange has a slight blue hint to it. It's still gray, but it's a darker gray. And the gray on the Wave Runner is really light. So I just wanted to call that out because I thought, hey, you know, it looks like a basically a Wave Runner with the orange midsole and pretty much it's, the color blocking is pretty much the same, but the grays are different. As you can see there, dark on the wash orange and lighter on the Wave Runner. And there's a look at the toe as well. All right, so I just wanted to call that out. All right, so on the lateral side of the shoe, you've got that nice gray or kind of, I'm gonna call it dark gray, it does have a, slight kind of bluish hue to it, but I'm gonna call it dark gray. So you got that dark gray kind of mesh around the ankle collar there, and you've got some dark gray leather that runs along the side where the eyelets are, as well as some mesh right there where you have your kind of Adidas three stripes there in, which are behind the mesh, and you, they are actually three and reflective. All right. Also, obviously, you've got that bright orange midsole there, um, with the orange drips. I'm not sure if that's 3M. It looks like it may be. Um, yeah, and you've also got um, that black suede on the side there. Like you have on all the uh, 700s, that suede material. And these silver hits right here within the suede are 3M. And that suede kind of wraps up the side of the shoe as well. Now, a little bit about that midsole here. They've released several of these 700 V1s with the orange midsole, I gotta be honest, I don't like it. I do not like the orange midsole. And um, after seeing several pairs released, it kind of feels lazy to me. It's kind of like, oh, we're just gonna keep reusing this orange midsole and just slap another color on the top, you know, for the upper of the shoe. Um, the only one I do like that I felt like this orange midsole was fitting for the shoe was the sun colorway. And that was the one with the yellow upper with the orange midsole, that made sense. Um, but then they dropped that blue one. I didn't like that. I felt like the blue would look better with the actual white midsole that we're used to seeing. Um, I don't know if they're gonna continue to do this. I, I just, just not a super fan of this orange midsole, but that's just me. Um, moving around to the toe box here, you've got that dark gray on the toe there and you've kind of got that bluish teal looking color and some of that forest green mesh there on the side. And moving up from there, you can see you have that kind of dark gray mesh tongue. And you have what I thought were, I saw like images in different videos online, and I thought these were white laces, but they look, in this lighting, they kind of look like a light grayish blue. Um, but there's a close up for you. They're definitely not, they don't look white. I thought they were actually white laces, but they look like they have like a little light gray in it to me. 
All right, and like I mentioned, the uh, dark or well, the mesh gray tongue. Um, also want to call out these uh, loops here on the tongue. Actually, these these loops are in 3M. And as you remember um, on the 700 V1 uh, Wave Runners, the tongue is not detached, sorry, is not attached on this shoe as well, which is what I prefer. I don't like some of the other 700 V1s that have the attached tongue because it makes them fit a little tighter. All right, moving around to the medial side of the shoe, you guessed it, same thing pretty much there. Uh, you got another look at the uh, gray leather that runs along the eyelets there, that nice gray suede, not suede, but um, mesh around the ankle collar, and uh, the black suede, the hits of 3M right there, some more black suede that runs along the side of the shoe, and obviously that bright orange midsole there, or wash orange, I guess. All right. Okay, now let's take a look at the actual heel of the shoe. You got another look at that wash orange there on the sole, and then moving up from there, you got some more of that dark gray suede, and right above that, you've got some mesh. Now, I wanna mention those holes right there in the suede. There is 3M reflective material right behind it. All right. And that's about it there. Now, let's take a look at the outsole. So, pretty standard, uh, yeah, the OG or 700 outsole there. And the outsole appears to be in like a very, very dark charcoal gray there. Typical 700 outsole there in that dark gray, kind of smoke gray outsole. And then you got that wash orange colorway. And as you can see, you've got those boost windows there with the boost, you can actually see through it right there. Or well, the boost is peeking out these actual holes there. All right. Okay. Now, as for the insole on this shoe, it is a gray insole. See if I can get it out of here. Yeah. It is a gray insole with Yeezy Adidas branding and a very light gray right there. All right. Okay. And this this is a first for me. I don't remember the actual, the backside of the insole, the bottom of it looking like this, but it's got these blue hits on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember seeing that, but it's there. Not a big deal, but just figured I'd call it out. Okay. All right, guys, and that'll be all for the 700 V1 Wash Orange. Now, as always, before we get into an on feet, I just like to give my final thoughts on the shoe. So, is the 700 V1 Wash Orange a must pick up? In my opinion, um, no. If you're a collector, I can see why you'd like to have it. Like, I have a lot of 700 V1s, but like I mentioned earlier, I am not a fan of this orange midsole. And, um, but I will say this, if you do not have the Wave Runner, then this one is okay. I still prefer the Wave Runner. That white midsole just looks way better than this orange. Um, but I can see why if you didn't have the Wave Runner, you wanted to grab these, because the upper is very similar to the Wave Runner, um, but that's just kind of where it ends there. But for me, I would say it's not a must pick up, but you know, that's just me. Um, as for as far as the uh, sizing goes, as always with Yeezys, I suggest going to half size up. I got these in a US men's size nine and a half and they fit like any other 700 V1. Uh, pretty good out of the box. I've got a little bit of room in the toe, not much. So I feel like if I went a full size up, they'd be way too big. So I'd say half size up is the way to go. All right. Now that'll be about all guys for the 700 V1 wash orange. Now do me a favor, comment down below and let me know that you guys pick these up. And I wanna know how you feel about this wash orange colorway. And in particular, how do you like what they're doing with this orange midsole for these set, the last few 700s? I'm curious to know how you guys feel about it. Um, but that'll be all for me. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.